guys it is sunday and also tank maintenance day i do maintenance every sunday because it is the only day that i have off from school and work and it gives me time to do water changes clean off algae all that good stuff so here's how i do it all right so i'm gonna do my opaula tank first this tank is always um covered in brown algae or like gunk I don't even know what it is, but it's all over the penny wart, all over everything. So what I typically do for this tank is I will try to rub off as much as I can um, so that it gets into the water and then I do a water change right after. And you wanna wash your hands in really hot water. Just make sure you don't burn yourself, um, but you do wanna wash your hands before you put them in the tank just in case you have um, stuff in there or on your hands that could hurt your shrimp but just take off the lid. <sighs> the lights are going out in this tank. Well, they're already out. Half the lights are out. Um, and it's probably just because of all the splashing from the waterfall. I am really careful um, in not filling the water up all the way so that the water doesn't hit the lighting, but lights still go out. So I think I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna buy two more lights two more of this fluval light and put one on each side of this tank. The only issue I might have is my cat who really, really likes to drink out of this tank. He has tried to drink out of this tank but realizes there's a lid on there and I don't really know how to like fix the lid so that my cat doesn't get in. So. Whatever, I will figure that out in a little bit, but basically um, I just check out the water sprite and I rub off all of the brown stuff and over here. This one has a lot more brown on it than the other one did. So I clean that off. The ones in the back are just little babies. This one's stuck in there. little baby water sprite right there that one's fine this one looks fine and then I just get in there with my hands and then rub off all of the stuff on the penny wart and it's a lot of brown stuff and it's really nasty, but it's gotta be done so that the plants can get some light. Otherwise, if they're, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, my dogs tried to eat my cat. But um, if they're completely covered, they're unable to photosynthesize because they're not able to um, get enough light. So, I just try to rub this off every week. I had the tank lights on for about 12 hours a day, which was a little much. Um, the reason I did that was because I wanted to grow algae on the plastic plants I had in here before, but now that there are actual plants, um, I needed to lower the light or the amount of light in there. And so I've reduced it down to about eight hours a day. Here's a dead leaf right here. I'm just gonna pluck it out. Usually I'll just put it right on the towel. Mm -hmm. And then, yep, continue to rub off all the leaf. Um, the shrimp kind of freak out a little bit, but it's not that bad. Um, sometimes they'll lose their color for a couple hours and then they'll get red again. So it's not completely traumatizing for them. I haven't had any losses in this tank at all mm -hmm. since I put them in with the plants so they're doing fine they're just a little freaked out it's pretty much what I do I try not to suck up any shrimp with me for my opaiola tank I have a five gallon jug with a bag of crushed corals in it to raise the pH so this kind of just sits in here um, for a few days and then I put it into the tank. So while that is going, I am going to wash my hands really well and get started on 
my neon yellow tank, which is a lot more heavily planted, but that's because it's fresh water, so a lot more plants do well in fresh water than brackish water. And really, this tank doesn't really need that much maintenance. What I do, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to insert some root tabs here, here, in the back by the sword, um, back by the water sprite, and then one right next to the bouquet that I just got from Jay. Really, it's going to be trimming down the sword and the water sprite. And that is mainly what I have to do on a weekly basis because the water sprite grows a new frond every week and honestly i really don't mind doing maintenance on that or trimming down plants i really enjoy it and the shrimp don't mind it at all they just continue foraging through everything and there's a little baby oh they are so cute can't believe how much they've grown in the last month this is one of the little I think they're called peewees that I got from Alpha Pro Breeders and they're almost the same size so it's pretty crazy how much they've grown. And I lost Mama Bear but she's in here somewhere. Here's one of my growing females. I can see the outline of a saddle on her but she's not big enough I don't think to start having some babies. So here she is. You can see she's got room for a saddle, but she doesn't have a saddle yet. Here's a cute little bouquet. Oh my god, how adorable is that? I think I might have to move the big Indian almond leaf that's right above it because it might not be getting enough light. I just threw in a bunch of um, Indian almond leaves I had pre-soaked in that other little container so that the babies and mama and everybody had some biofilm to eat. And yeah, move the chala wood over here. I think this is a potential dad. I don't know. I know that I had two full grown males in here with Mama Bear. So one of them have got to be the father of the babies. Tang's at 71 degrees right now, which is um, a little bit higher than most people have it. Usually they'll keep it at 68 to 70 but my house is typically at 70 degrees, so the water is gonna be a little bit higher because of the um, heat generated by the stuff in the tank, like the filter and the heater, and all that good stuff, so. Yep, very little maintenance. I'm probably gonna just pluck this little leaf out, and that's pretty much it for this tank. I like using API root tabs as opposed to other root tabs because they don't have any copper in them and my tank has always done really well on them so why change right? Now with these I tried to get them into the substrate ASAP because they dissolve almost instantly when they come in contact with the water. So. Um, Pretty much what I do is I just shove it into the substrate as quick as possible. Before I do that, I am going to take this out. Come on. There you go. Take this out. Put with all the other stuff over here. That's it. Time to put the root tabs in as quickly as I can. So I'm going to put it. Oh no, there's a baby there! Baby, you're going to have to get out of the way. Hmm. Come on, baby. Watch out. See? So it dissolves immediately. I try to push it as far into the substrate as possible. There you go. Done. First one done. Baby is fine. He flew over here. Got a little baby over here investigating. Water change for this tank is really simple. I just use one of these because I don't want to suck up any babies. And I pretty much just fill this up, pour it into the bucket until the bucket is about to this line right here. And that is about 25% of this water. So it's perfect. And yeah, and then once I dump that out, I have pre-made 
a pre-made five gallon jug of RO water that has been dosed with the salty shrimp GH plus and that will go back into the tank. So that's pretty much how I do maintenance for my tanks. If you guys have any questions or tips, please leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.